Hello everyone and welcome to another reaction of the day. This time we are looking at a Fields-Meyer formulation. And before we actually go into the chemistry, let's have a brief look at the history of this reaction. And this all started with Dr. Anton Fields-Meyer, a German chemist who was born in 1894 in a small village close to Regensburg. Anton Fielsmeier studied chemistry at the University of Munich and he then moved to Erlangen where he obtained his PhD in the group of Otto Fischer. He then worked as an assistant under the guidance of Professor Pummerer and it was about that time that his PhD student Albrecht Haag worked on the Fielsmeier formulation. The fun thing is that if you look at the introduction of Haag's PhD thesis there is a handwritten note by Fieldsmeyer, and in that note he actually claims that the Fieldsmeyer formulation is his sole invention and that his PhD student Haag only repeated certain experiments and confirmed his work. So this is quite interesting and it might tell you something about um, you know their relationship or you know the times back then I don't know but uh, in any case after this this time Fieldsmeyer actually moved on to the IG Farben which later became the uh, Badische Anilin and Soda Fabrik the BASF where he worked as an industri industrial chemist for quite some time in the fields of uh, novel dyes and, and dye synthesis okay then let's have a look at the actual reaction in the Fieldsmeyer formulation an electron-rich arene is treated with a substituted amide, in this case DMF and phosphorus oxychloride, um, to give after aqueous hydrolysis of an intermediate and aryl aldehyde. And as always in these videos, hit the pause button, try to come up with a mechanism yourself first, and then compare it with the mechanism you're gonna see in just a second. Alright, so let's get started. The mechanism starts with the attack of an electron-rich oxygen of the DMF at the POCl3. And remember the oxygen of amides is generally more reactive towards electrophiles under neutral conditions and phosphorus is also very oxophilic. So you get this intermediate and the chloride ion then um, adds into this uh, iminium um, electrophile and then kicks out the dichlorophosphate ion to form the so-called Fieldsmeyer reagent. Um, this chloroaminium reagent is now very reactive and when this is reacted with an electron-rich arene, the electron-rich arene undergoes an electrophilic aromatic substitution. And uh, as usual for an electrophilic aromatic substitution, and after the initial attack um, you get a re-aromatization. Um, to give you this alpha chloroamine, uh, which is not very stable. Um, it's again, you have a leaving group here, the chlorine, and the um, free electron pair of the nitrogen, which kicks out the chlorine to again form an aminium ion. As indicated here in red, you have again an electrophilic carbon atom, and in the presence of water, obviously, this is a um, very um, activated, very activated position, and the uh, lone pair of the oxygen would now attack at the um, electrophilic carbon atom. You have a species which is not very stable, and uh, after protonation of the nitrogen, um, you form an intermediate where um, dimethylamine can be eliminated again by the um, help of the uh, free lone pair on the oxygen. So you're almost there, you have the protonated version of the uh, aldehyde then, and after um, removal of one more uh, proton you actually get the final product, the aryl aldehyde. So I hope you uh, found this mechanism helpful and if you have any questions just shoot me a message and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye! Okay then, let's have a look at the actual reaction. In the Fieldsmeyer formulation, an electron-rich arene is treated with a substituted amide, in this case DMF and phosphorus oxychloride, um, to give after aqueous hydrolysis of an intermediate and aryl aldehyde. And as always in these videos, hit the pause button, try to come up with a mechanism yourself first, and then compare it with the mechanism you're gonna see 
in just a second. All right, so let's get started. The mechanism starts with the attack of an electron-rich oxygen of the DMF uh, at the POCl3. And remember, the oxygen of amides is generally more reactive towards electrophiles under neutral conditions, and phosphorus is also very oxophilic. So you get this intermediate, and the chloride ion then um, adds into this uh, aminium um, electrophile and then kicks out the dichlorophosphate ion to form the so-called Fieldsmeyer reagent. Um, this chloroaminium reagent is now very reactive and when this is reacted with an electron-rich arene, the electron-rich arene undergoes an electrophilic aromatic substitution. And as usual for these mechanisms, um, after de-aromatization, um, and as usual for these mechanisms, And uh, as usual for an electrophilic aromatic substitution, and after the initial attack, um, you get a re-aromatization. Um, to give you this alpha chloroamine, uh, which is not very stable, um, it's again you have a leaving group here, the chlorine, and the um, free electron pair of the nitrogen, which kicks out the chlorine to again form an aminium ion. As indicated here in red, you have again an electrophilic carbon atom and in the presence of water, obviously this is a um, very, um, activated, very activated position and the uh, lone pair of the oxygen would now attack at the um, electrophilic carbon atom. To give you this intermediate, you will have uh, again a species which is not very stable. Uh, you will protonate the um, We have a species which is not very stable. The you have a species which is not very stable. You have a you have a species which is not very stable, and uh, after protonation of the nitrogen, um, you form an intermediate where um, dimethylamine can be eliminated again by the um, help of the uh, free lone pair on the oxygen. So you're almost there. You have the protonated version of the uh, aldehyde then, and after um, removal of one more uh, proton, you actually get the final product, the aryl aldehyde. So I hope you uh, found this mechanism helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.